Ethic Zeun, deze video speel ik voor mijn deel 58. Van ook wat lexie. This must be the cavern Mrs. Bottle mentioned. Oh, ik heb, de, ik heb blijkbaar op de geld gedrukt en daar ook al op. Maar het maakt niet uit, want ik moest dat toch naar binnen. Better have a look around. See about the whole clumps matters. That's all the whole clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. This must be Sarone. I should take this box of letters to Sarone. I think that's everything. Sarone will be glad to have this back.
Zo, wacht even een beetje verkeerd aan. Oh, we lopen natuurlijk. Revelio. Oh, deze is schilderen. Oh, ik had wel iets verwacht eigenlijk. Maar in ieder geval, die over dat dan is de voorzij kwam of zo eigenlijk. Maar dat was niet. Ja, dit dan vond ik een eerste met een bui. Maar ja, dit hadden we niet natuurlijk. Ja, blijf ik ook niet altijd terugkomen, maar alleen voor die gast, dat doe ik niet. Heel zie, het was een mistake. Ik heb even verkeerd. Hallo Sorona, ik heb goed nieuws. Ik was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hall plumps for her Wigamel potion. En ik vond your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Ik weet niet wat ik had without her en Aiden. Thank you again for helping her and for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness. Everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Ugh. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old. It sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. How kind! Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. I should have known. How... Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. Good luck. Why did Alan always say? Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Ja, ik vind het nog steeds raar dat de quest eigenlijk nou pas wel... Uh... Ja, ik had het dan eigenlijk eerder moeten doen, dat snap ik ook, maar ja. Dat is eigenlijk gewoon anders moeten indelen. Want ja, weet ik nou dat ik die quest eigenlijk al had moeten doen toen. Ja, 
Ik dacht juist van, doe ik juist al als ik er klaar mee ben, zeg maar, met de main story. Ik kan nou vliegen als het goed is. Ja, ik kom denk ik precies, maar tot het met level 30 of zo met de questen. Ik kom er niet zo aardig heel ver, zeg maar. We hebben wel aardig veel gedaan, ik ben nu op level 27 pas. Als ik het goed heb. Daar zijn ze. Ze was niet making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willard, ze might get een antwoord about these butterflies. Ja, ik eigenlijk dat beest, want dan krijg ik misschien nog een beetje XP. Daar is hij. Ja, het was niet echt de moeite waard eigenlijk, maar 5 XP, maar ja. Het is XP, zo maar, moet je maar zien. Ik wou al zeggen, ik kan ik hier geen beest stil doen, ik was niet in het doorloop, dus ja. Wauw, wacht, hier ligt een liggen. Oh, die geeft gewoon aan de kaart, oké. Okay. Ja, dat is wel wel handiger. Ja, met de beeldjes doet dat dan weer niet, dus ja. Even te denken als het op de kaart aan geeft. Ja, hij moet toch echt even wat doen, denk ik of zo. Ja, want hier is er wel een, maar ze is niet in de stad. Hier is hij. Aangevonden. Nu wil ik even eerst collecten, want dan heb ik ze in ieder geval hier gehad. In de hoogsmeet. Ja, ik kan niet selecteren, want anders een uh, paar ha Ja, doet het bij de andere okay. raar, zeg maar. Bij de missie. Natuurlijk bij de ingang. Nou, jammer dat je niet meer krijgt eigenlijk. En daarvan, je hebt de collectie compleet, dan krijg je wel meer, maar nee, je krijgt gewoon target en dat is het. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. 
For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. I should have known Harlow had met his match the day of the troll attack in Hogsmeade. The village owes you a great debt for ridding us of that monster. And I mean Harlow. Oh, there is him over. Hij is nog hoger. Hij wist die gast helemaal boven. Hij is gewoon uit van hier. I'll fix him. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacula. Create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's kneesel. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. Why do you need Mr. Lawley's venomous tentacular in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business, and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going, minus any competition. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Hij kan ook zeggen dat hij het niet doet, maar voor mij is het blijft daar gewoon daar staan. This must be it. Waar dan hier? This must be the cellar. Now to find that venomous tentacular. Yeah. I don't know if they will see me. Alohomora. Where is that venomous tentacular? Now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Ravenia.
Oh. Waarom heeft u me daar zo spinnen hier? Did that errand for me? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. Let's see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. Of course. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons. And Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Oh, to see the look on Lawley's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. On soon, okay. Ah, that's the whole level. Uh, 34, that's more moeilijk, think, om hier te halen. Ja, ik heb natuurlijk nog meer hebben van die missies, maar ja, het zijn in totaal 18 en ik kom in de markt. En voor mij me deelt het niet alleen maar hier. Hallo, pardon me. Hallo daar. Was er iets wat je nodig Hallo, ik was wondering of je would be interested in having your own shop en een huis om te helpen met het. Penny's the name. Penny's mistress is selling this shop. And Penny is most eager to start working with the new owner. It might surprise you to know that Penny can sell practically anything. Oh, it would be wonderful to have a place to sell things and someone to help me. You'll be able to give Penny almost anything that you want to sell. It will be no work at all for you once the shop is up and running. If you want the shop and Penny hopes that you do, you should talk to Penny's mistress as soon as you can. Her name is Cassandra Mason. Why is your mistress selling the shop? And you? Mm, Penny cannot be certain as Mistress Mason so rarely confides in her. Mm, however, she repeatedly mentions how tired she has become of trying to let the shop. She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. Are you all right? Are you holding your breath? <sighs> Penny's fine. Sometimes Penny simply needs to remind herself to stop talking. What kind of things would I be able to sell in the shop? All kinds. Anything from essence of Disney to mooncalf fur. If a buyer exists for something, then Penny can sell it and get the best price. Just ask Mistress Mason. Why are the premises in such disarray? Oh, the previous tenants were not mm, able to manage very well. They seem to have given up rather quickly. <gasps> Penny is perfect. 
perfectly capable of helping clean and repair, so the shop will be ready for business in no time. How is it you're so good at selling? Seems unusual for a house elf. Oh, before he died, Penny's previous owner, Master Mason, trusted her to do all sorts of things to help him with his shop. Penny supposes it is a bit unusual for a house elf to possess such skill, but Master Mason commanded it, and Penny was happy to oblige. Master Mason is a wonderful master. <laughs> all right. I shall go and find Madam Mason. Oh, this is splendid news indeed. You won't be sorry. You can find Mistress Mason at her home on the north edge of the village. Penny does hope she gets to work with you. We missed the aardig shop and we zit helemaal hier. Oh, daar wilde blijkbaar niet overheen, oké, okay, doen we maar zo. Hallo, madam Mason. I understand you have a shop to sell. Why, yes. Yes, I do. Are you interested? Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. Marvelous. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? I have a knack for this sort of thing, if I do say so myself. If I can meet your terms, I hope that you'll sell to me. Well... I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. And of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm. An exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Huh? You are wise to be wary in business dealings. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favor of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. Yes. An unsuccessful shop would be bad for nearby businesses, I'd imagine. Quick one, you are. Do we have a deal? What precisely do you mean, should my efforts fail? Honestly, I only mean that if for some reason you're unable to keep the shop going, I could help you cut your losses. That's all. But, as you've implied, the odds of that happening are remote. The shop seems to be in an ideal location. Why has no one purchased it yet? It is indeed. But I've just decided to sell. I've grown weary of being a landlady. My late husband was the one with a passion for shopkeeping and business in general. You'd be wise to take advantage of this opportunity before the offers start rolling in. It looks to be rather a mess. Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it there? As you've no doubt considered, running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. The benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shop ready for business and ensuring its success. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. But I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, 
I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. Oké, zo genoeg voor dit deel. Ik hoop dat jullie het leuk vonden. En vergeet niet om te liken en te abonneren.